In this tutorial, I'll be going over the file management system. Starting on the left-hand side are the units, whichever particular unit that file has been created, and this will toggle between the both. You can also force that to go between millimeters or inches. You have your rewind button. You also have your recent files that have been opened in the past. You can close that particular file, load a G-code, or view and edit that particular file. Let's go to the load G-code dialog. Starting in the bottom left-hand corner are lists of all of our folders in a particular folder content area. If we look at our C semicolon forward slash Mach 3 G code and we want to back up to Mach 3, just click on the backup. We also have options to copy and delete these folders. By clicking on the options, we can choose to delete the particular folder that has been selected. We also can copy the particular folder that has been selected. By pressing the navigation, we can choose to then copy that folder, for example, into our G code. So this would copy it from the add ons into the G code section. Looking at our right hand side is a list of all the files located in that particular folder section. And you can navigate that by holding these arrow keys. Holding it down will auto navigate. Pressing it once will scroll one by one. As you can see, the pictures change over here on the left hand side, displaying the appropriate content of that particular file. By selecting a file, you have three different options. You can choose to load it, or clicking on the options, you can choose to delete or copy that particular file. In order to take one of these snapshot pictures of your file, you want to click on the snapshot, and that'll open up a screen capture. At that point, you can click on the toolpath and choose which direction you want that picture to look and take a picture about anything you'd like. After taking your snapshot, click on the load G code and come back down and take a look at your picture. If you'd like to load the file into mock, then click on the load it. And that is the file navigation section.